Is there a story or object in this exhibition that you found particularly impactful or evocative? I would say as a museum curator, it's very hard to choose one or more poignant stories about the many that we are covering. So if you will allow me, I'd like to answer by a side step. I won't choose one story of one individual or family in particular, but I would like to take the angle of a witness. We are showing at the end of the October crisis section a very uh, wide-sized painting by a deceased artist from Ontario called Dennis Torben. Dennis Torben was a very young man when the October crisis of 1970 occurred. He wasn't involved at all. He, he was from St. Catharines and only saw these events through the media. So he had no personal involvement or political involvement. Nevertheless, he grew increasingly haunted by what he learned bits by bits of the October crisis when growing up and becoming a, an accomplished artist in the 1970s, 1980s, and early 1990s, to the point that he produced a great number of uh, oeuvres of great dimensions, drawings and paintings showing the impact of the October crisis. And I think this oeuvre or this painting that we are showing with its very stark colors shows that the October crisis was really a trauma for the actual victims of the kidnappings, for the people who were uh, condemned to jail or searches with sometimes dubious motive and for public opinion. An innocence was lost and the painting by Tourbain, I think, wants to convey that the age of Canadian innocence really ceased in October 1970. For me, one of the most moving stories happened in the Second World War section where we explored the experiences of more than uh, 21,000 Japanese Canadians who were forcibly relocated. In this uh, section, we feature four individuals who were children at the time, including uh, Mary Murakami Kitagawa. M Madame Kitagawa um, graciously, uh, generously loaned us the geta, so Japanese sandals that her, that her father made uh, while they were in the camp. And um, in April 1942, the uh, family's home, their farm, uh, most of their belongings were um, seized and sold by the government. So for the next five years, they were uh, forcibly relocated. And uh, it means that her parents had to do whatever they could to provide for their children, including uh, making shoes for them. So to me, these little uh, sandals represent uh, the courage, the perseverance, the resilience of all the individuals, uh, all the families and all the, the communities who went through these very difficult times. <laughs>